A North Dakota nonprofit wants to expand insurance benefits for those who suffer from infertility, and it's pushing lawmakers to pass legislation this year. Yeah, new this morning, Nikki Johnson met up with two women who say cost is the number one barrier in growing a family. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. So far, 19 states require or have passed infertility insurance laws, with six of them passing new legislation since 2018. And Tara Bradner, founder of Everlasting Hope, wants to add North Dakota to that list. Everlasting Hope was formed by Tara Bradner when she was struggling with infertility. Now, she wants to help others. Currently, as is in North Dakota, once you have that diagnosis, all treatment, oral medications, injections, ultrasound lab work is not covered by insurance and completely out of pocket for patients. One reason for infertility is genetics. 30-year-old Minot woman Katie Peterson was born with a genetic disorder called Turner syndrome. This creates infertility due to underdeveloped ovaries and non-viable eggs. Part of our infertility journey is having to get cardiac approval in order to try to achieve pregnancy via IVF with donor egg. She says she got cardiac approval one and a half years ago, and since then they've been paying off debt just to save a minimum of $10,000. That's the cost of just one IVF treatment, and they're close to reaching that goal. It's an extra hurdle but it will be worth it. She says the cost of fertility treatments is one of the biggest barriers to starting the process of IVF using donor eggs. That's why organizations like Everlasting Hope are hoping a bill at the state capitol will become law. House Bill 1147 would make sure state employees have access to insurance coverage for infertility and fertility preservation with hopes of expanding it to more North Dakotans in the future. Infertility is the only one that I've met so far where I have patients or myself have encountered not having any coverage to, or access to my health care plan for my disease. Katie says everyone deserves the option to grow their family and they want that chance too. The biggest thing both ladies told me was there are thousands of people who suffer in silence with the disease of infertility, but the good news is, is they don't have to face it alone. For information on Everlasting Hope, you can click on this story at kxnet.com. And Josh and Alicia, last week, Friday, some personal stories were shared in front of an interim committee, and Brandner says next they're going to go before another House committee. She says things are looking hopeful. Yeah. Well, definitely something we will be watching closely. Absolutely. Yeah, they do great work in uh, Everlasting Hope. They, yeah. uh, they act as ambassadors for, you know, their members. They go and talk to their employers about, you know, what are insurance possibilities. Yeah. So Important yeah. group, for I sure. Work All doing. right, thank you so much, Nikki.